And now, here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go two hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great weekend, safe weekend. Of course, let's make it a great week. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action. You have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon that idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Mugging wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow down 26, NASDAQ up 5, S&P's down 2, gold contract up 330, trading out at 1,507 an ounce, silver up 60. Nine cents at forty six dollars and seventy five cents. Silver um, before the market actually opened Eastern time, folks was up three dollars, uh, hitting highs out there. We'll get a uh, head wrapped around that in a few more minutes. Platinum up four dollars at one thousand eight twenty six an ounce. Copper down ten pennies at four thirty one a pound. Light sweet crude flat at one twelve twenty one a barrel. Bonds up sixteen ticks, trading at one twenty one seventeen. Dollar index off 11.6 at 74.18. Euro up 13 at 145. And the yen down 17, trading out at 81.72. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You get a flat market out here. You're down two. Uh, the highs out there last Thursday were out there at the 13.37. 0.49, you get the 1337.55, you did 697 million. Bottom line is that you're coming into that February 22nd downdraft, folks. That downdraft out there had 1.3 billion. So you're talking about some, uh, <laughs> they, this thing is, uh, actually, it was 50% lighter volume now. Uh, that's, uh, you know, so it's going to need a lot more juice to have that S&P get up and over uh, the highs of the 1344. Um, level which was generated on the 18th of February. Dow Industrials, you take a look at the Dow that's still hanging out at the highs, back 26 today, but though we are at the 12,479 uh, level. Uh, that uh, 12,450 uh, was one of the highs generated on the 6th of April, 12,389 is the one in February. The NASDAQ Composite, we take a look at the Composite. What we have with the Composite is this. Composite out here today was flat, up five bucks. Uh, bottom line on the composite, what you have, she is at twenty eight twenty five. We did one point four seven billion. Uh, that's uh, versus uh, this uh, two point four nine five billion. Uh, so she's going to also need a lot more juice. She right now is into the. She got to twenty eight twenty six today. She closed out at twenty eight twenty five. The bottom of the. March, I mean February eighteenth uh, uh, deal is at twenty eight fifteen, uh, twenty eight thirty one rather. Silver. Let's go over to silver market. Okay, so last night in silver, folks, this is what you had in silver. Silver. She gets up to a price point um, in the middle of the night. Actually, it was uh, about four o'clock in the morning. Uh, forty nine eighty two. Uh, she closed out at forty six. 84 couldn't handle that but that number there what was it doing it was out there tagging the 1980 high that 1980 high in a continuous contract is 50.35 uh bottom line gold we go over to the gold market we can take a look at gold what you have with gold out here uh gold had a a price spread out here today uh, gcg Gold had a price spread out here today, folks, from 1519 to 1502. It closed out at 1507 right now. Uh, dollar. Now, the dollar, folks, okay, what it's all about. No two ways about it. Tick, tick, tick. Uh, dollar out here today hit a low of 7401. It's out there at 7421 right now. Um, you know, it's been holding the November uh, 2009 lows. Let's go to Brad in St. Pete. Hey, Brad, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? Yep. You there? Tom, you there? I am. Oh, okay. I couldn't hear you. How you doing today? I'm doing great, man. Okay. Tom, I just wanted to ask you a quick question. Okay, I'm looking to buy some physical gold, and uh, they're telling me the premium $60 an ounce. Is that is that about right? 
Uh, well, well, you know what I do. I mean, just go. go. I don't. I. I don't. Uh, I gotta get. I, give me w one second here. Let me. Let me find out from Steve right now what they're going for. Um, you know what? I'll. I'll answer that as soon as I come back from commercial. Just go to Tiger Metal Exchange. That, that's live up there. Okay, I'll check it out. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. And I'll get you that number, folks. That, that number does go. Uh, back and forth, so that may be it, it may not be it, but uh, I'll get you the exact number. Um, our phone number is 877-927-6648, uh, Netflix, NFLX. Oh, hey, when we talk about premiums, folks, check this out. This is pretty intense. You know, we've been talking about the premium inside the, uh, the physical gold fund. This is, um, the symbol is PS. LV. So check it out. So right now what you have is this, folks, is that you have the premium inside this fund is still 18.61%. Now, what is absolutely wild here is this, is that I've been bringing this up quite a bit because I've been bringing it up as to the aspect that why would you pay 18% over, and in this case, last week it was 21% over, the price of actually selling the bullion, you know, we've had different people called saying different things, meaning that, you know, you suppose you can get it into physical bullion. Well, you can get it into physical bullion if you have 600000 But the bottom line is, is that you're losing 18%. That's the first part. The second part, it gets even bigger, though. The second part, folks, is that the manager, the asset manager of this fund owns 27% of it. Now, that asset manager has also filed to sell the shares. Now, what that says is this. That says two different things. Picture this for a second. If you were the asset manager and you knew that the fund was overvalued by, in this case, 18.41%, would you sell them or wouldn't you sell them? Of course you're going to sell them. The bottom line is that people are going to get taken to the cleaners in this deal. The asset manager has already stopped selling them. I saw this come across, and when you stop, when I stopped pulling up the actual selling, it started on the 25th of March. Now, what does it mean? Well, what it means is this, folks, is that the marketing-wise, they've done a great job marketing, no doubt, because they have, they're having people pay over um, the price that they should be paying. Now what you have, though, is that right now, there's, it looks like there's 57 million shares outstanding. Maybe 575, uh, 57, maybe 575 million shares outstanding. Bottom line is that 27% of those, you got to remember how an ETF is created. Most ETFs are created and destroyed simultaneously. And this one here it was a little bit different because what happens is that when they created the trust, they kept the 27% and they said they weren't going to sell them for a certain amount of time. Well, the bottom line, that time is over. They filed, they're going to sell them. You're going to see this baby not only have the compression, the premium get compressed, um, there's going to be there's, there's going to be a lot of money lost in that fund, folks. Let's go to uh, Netflix, NFLX, NFLX. They just come out with numbers. Netflix closed at uh, 251. That's trading at 244. They beat their numbers. Netflix, the estimate was 107. It's trading out there at 111. Let's go to Joe in Boston. Hey, Joe, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? Yeah, I was wondering if you could tow the sun up here when you come up. Absolutely, man. <laughs> You've been having a hard time with the sun up there, huh? That's a bummer. It's good for the lawn. That's about it. Oh, boy. What are you going to look at? Hey, uh, I took a small position in JOYG. I was looking at that sign of strength back on the, in February there. Okay, let's take a look at it. you got Joy Gold Global, folks. This is a... Maker of uh, mining equipment and, uh, you know, underground and surface mining equipment. The lows, $44. The highs, 103 The PE is 21 They pay a three-quarter percent dividend. Okay, so let's see. When are we coming out with numbers here? So June 3rd estimate. Okay. So what you have here is this. Is that what he's looking at? He's looking at... Uh, 225 and yeah. about 20 Yeah, about not, you know, I, I thought there it. might be good support there at 96 Yeah, I think there is. Let me pull this back a little. Zero, let me see, zero nine. Actually, we'll put this on a weekly. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there definitely is, man. I mean, this. Well, yeah, Caterpillar's coming out Friday, so I don't know if this will trade off of that. It will. It absolutely will, man. 
You know, yeah, oh. yeah. Cooking, brother. All right, see you soon. Have Bye. a great one, man. Have a safe one. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at, uh, we're going to have a lot more uh, earnings coming out here, folks. Uh, let's see what we got. Some of the high-volume stocks we had out here today. Let's see what we got out here. We had the GE was down six cents. You had Intel up forty-eight. Pfizer was up thirty-five. Wells Fargo uh, was uh, up two. Barrick Gold, check this out. Uh, ABX. Uh, Barrick is uh, buying a, a big Australian copper company, and you know, uh, you know, Barrick, uh, you know, likes copper. It's pretty wild. I mean, uh, it, it's a big gold company, but the bottom line is that uh, with this. Um, take over also, uh, uh, you know, you're going to see Barrick's going to be, uh, I don't know, the, the mix is actually going to probably put it more into copper. Bottom line is that uh, the market, uh, it, came, it came off there, uh, it came off there with huge volume, came off there with 25 million shares. Barrick's on its way back down to this uh, 4604 area. Um, and it was, there's a question in the den, and what the question is, is that the, the silver, uh, company that I was talking about, the closed-end fund, um, aren't the new shares being issued to buy more built bullion? And the answer is no. If you go look at the filing, the fi the fi what the filing specifically is with the SEC is that they file to sell their shares, and if you go look at the, the numbers, they are selling their shares. That's the bottom line. And why wouldn't you? If the bottom line is that you're getting 18% more than you should get for it. So if you go to the uh, SEC.gov, uh, you, you know, you'll Edgar database, you'll see the filings in there. We go take a look at the, the SPY. What you have with the spies out here is this, folks, okay? Spies out here today, 62 million shares. We're at 133.64. That little baby's going into this 233 million. Uh, hanging at the top, no doubt. Uh, but we're going to need, you're going to need a lot more juice to get up and over those levels. And, of course, what we have starting tomorrow is that you get the two-day Fed meeting. We've got two-day Fed meeting, okay? Starts on Tuesday. Uh, good old Bernanke is going to be out there with his first, not only, uh, well, with the first press conference after that. Um, most of the time, of course, they just do uh, the 215. They send out the announcement. That's it. This time they're going to uh, basically have a press conference going and see if they can push more garbage out. Uh, don't forget, folks, uh, my new book, The Art of Time in the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. Uh, you can get it on Amazon right now. And that, I suspect that they actually uh, got the books delivered because uh, uh, many of the stores got them delivered today. We got all ours delivered today. So if you had ordered it, you're going to be getting them in the next few days. So we're going to be right back, folks.